What's up world, Enrique here with another video and this time I want to be talking about three things that you can do to become a better musician. So let's get into it. So I'm currently traveling for work and I'm in a small town outside of London called Marlow. And it's in these moments that I find the best opportunities to really learn a piece of gear. When you learn a piece of gear, you get past a point of almost, you're not really thinking as you play it. You're playing it almost subconsciously and you're just making it work to its full potential. For example, think of a band, right? Majority of the time, they got a guitar, a bass, a singer, and a drummer. Basically four instruments and they can make albums worth of music. Why is this? Because they know their instruments and they know that they can work them to their full potential. When you have a drum machine or something like that, just really spend the time. If you have an excuse to just take one piece of gear with you, just take that single piece of gear and maybe even the manual and just really learn that piece of gear till you get so comfortable with it that you start finding ways to really manipulate the sound. And once you feel pretty comfortable with the gear that you're using, try and break it. It's one of my favorite things to do. Try and just send everything to everywhere and do everything you can within it to just come up with new sounds and new ways and new exploration of, of the gear that you already own. You'd be surprised the capabilities and the possibilities of some of the stuff that we have today. I feel like a lot of people don't really take full advantage of the gear that they already have. Another important thing to remember is that when we look back at all these classic songs that sound so good, you can almost argue that a lot of the gear that we have today that's a lot more affordable today is far better and far superior than what they were working with before. Also, if you guys got time, I'm challenging you to make a song with just one piece of gear. I'll let you track it in multiple times, maybe make a kick drum with the same thing, record it and then make a new sound with it and record it to layer it up. But try just using one piece of gear to make a song. So another thing I can't stress enough is just making music you enjoy to make. It's so easy to copy another person's music, but do you really have fun doing that? And if you do, continue doing it. Just have fun with what you do. I want you to enjoy the process of making music. If it's such a chore and a bore to just copy someone else's music that you think other people will like, then why are you doing it? Why are we trying to constantly impress others when we should just have fun making the music we want to make. It's not about being perfect, it's about the intent. Perfection itself isn't the most important thing, it's just your meaning behind the reason you're doing what you're doing. So don't strive for perfection, just strive for what you want to achieve with what you are doing. If we have a true meaning behind the things that we're trying to achieve with the song we're trying to make, it's that story behind the song or just the, the human behind the song that we can feel and hear versus how perfect it is. Long story short, ignore what other people are doing. Sure, be inspired by people, but I wouldn't necessarily say go and try to copy people. But if you're trying to copy people to learn more about making music, sure, but when it comes to your own personal stuff, be inspired by everything. Go outside, be inspired by a park, be inspired by a church, a beautiful bridge, whatever it may be, and take that inspiration and put that into your music and ignore what other people are making and ignore genres and just make what you want to make because at the end of the day, that's where good music comes from. When you look at people being original and being the pioneers in a certain genre or a style of music, they created that genre. It didn't exist before that point. They weren't trying to fit into a genre that didn't exist. So again, just have fun. Do what you enjoy the most. The listeners will come. They will be there. All right, for this last part, it really hits close to home, and that's to break the rules. Sure, it might be good to learn the rules first before you break them, like most people say, 
but don't be afraid to step outside of the box. So my experience with this was that I went to school to study music and I left with a wealth of knowledge that I'm truly grateful for. But at the same time, I felt like I left with almost too much knowledge. I was left critiquing my music so hard to a point that I didn't put anything out and I didn't think anything sounded good or felt good anymore. I was destroying my tracks with the rules and the uh, knowledge that I learned and all the things that people said you should do to music to make it sound better was ruining everything for me. So with all that being said, don't pay too much attention to what people have to say online. Just keep making music, keep pumping it out, and just keep learning as you go. The more you make music, the better you're going to get, the more you're going to find your sound and be true to yourself. So take all those things, practice with it. If you got music that you're making now, post it down in the comments below. I'd love to take a listen. You know, I love being inspired by other people, and a lot of you guys are doing some really cool and creative stuff. If you guys like this video, really appreciate a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give me a thumbs down and let me know in the comments below how I can make these videos better for you. But without further ado, you guys know the drill, and that's to share the love, share the knowledge. Knowledge is power. Peace.